Hello everyone and welcome to the unboxing and review of the Somnia Tarot by Nicolas Bruno. I got this deck yesterday and I am already in love with it. When I, I don't really know how I stumbled upon this deck, uh, but it was still in creation. So I got the pre-order and it started shipping recently or last month, I think, and I just got it yesterday. The box has kind of a bit of a texture um, to it. Very subtle, but it does. But I, I think I found it on Instagram and I saw this image. I saw a few others too. And I was immediately hooked. I just wanted to... I was like, when is this deck going to be ready? Just because the images are so cool and so interesting. So Nicolas Bruno expra explains in, in here, uh, in the little book that this is kind, of, is kind of based on sleep paralysis, on nightmares, but honestly, it sounds scarier than it really is. Um, I mean, for my personal opinion, I didn't find the images to be, I mean, they're strikingly beautiful, but I didn't find the images to be scary, like a nightmare, but I totally understand the sleep paralysis part of it. I do. <laughs> So anyway, we got the Somnia. We have a pretty good sturdy box. Opens up like so. And then you have your little white book. Your little white book that comes with it. You have this little beautiful etching here. And the little white book is exactly that. It's just a little white book. You get an explanation. Uh, you get a little Bruno, uh, Nicolas Bruno letter <laughs> explaining how he got to the tarot. Um, how he became interested in it and all that good stuff. Then you go into the major arcana. So that's pretty much what you get. You just get the fool, the title, and then keywords for all of them. Then we go into the minor arcana. I mean, this is just beautifully done. Uh, suit of wands, suit of cups, suit of swords, suit of coins, which pentacles or discs, and then you're done. <laughs> you're done with the little white book. Now, I do find this little white book to be helpful. I would not recommend this deck to a brand new beginner. The images are awesome and they do mimic, of course, the Rider Waite Smith, the classic one that we all know. I have here the original Rider Waite Smith with me, <laughs> but um, it's different. It's very different that I think a, a very beginner would maybe be a little bit confused, but you do get uh, pretty accurate keywords on what they are and that can help you in your journey. Of course, all this is my opinion. <laughs> if you're looking at this deck going, yes, immediately, yes, then go for it. Because the most important thing to me is a deck has to speak to you. Um, a deck has to speak to you. I don't want, I don't know, I don't want people to get like the Rider Smith, for example, and go, I don't like this deck. I don't like the images. I don't like anything about it. But it's like, but the tarot reader told me to get it because it's the classic. Don't go by that. <laughs> go by one that really calls to you. So these are the backs, this beautiful navy, navy color print. Now, as you can see, it's not exactly reversible, but it's so subtle that would you really care? Um, I don't, I don't, but I know some of us do and that's okay. The cardstock is really good. It's very sturdy, uh, but it, it'll shuffle really well, but it's pretty sturdy, honestly. I think in the box he says how um, how thick it is or something, but I'm not sure. <laughs> also, which I thought was really sweet, is he sends you a thank you uh, with a little like four by six um, print of one of the images and then a little thank you. Thank you for bringing my project to life and then a signature. I thought that was really nice. I'm not sure if he did that for every sale, but he did it for the pre-order, I'm assuming, so. I thought that was a really nice touch. So I will be showing you all the cards. If you don't wanna see all of them, you can skip ahead. You can kind of like, you know, scroll or double tap on the screen to skip 10 seconds at a time, or you can skip this part altogether. But I will be showing you all of them in order, okay? Because I did get this yesterday and I went through the whole thing and I was like, I don't wanna work with it just yet. I immediately loved it and I don't wanna shuffle it just yet because I wanted to do this unboxing for myself and for you guys too. So here we have the Fool. The Magician. Oh, this High Priestess. 
The High Priestess is one of my favorite cards in the tarot in general. And it's one of those that like, when I'm going to buy a deck, I want to see what the High Priestess looks like. But this with the two smokes, the black and white smoke, and ah, it's just so beautiful. So you see, like I didn't, I mean, so far, I've only shown you a few images and maybe if you are like, I get the nightmare part. <laughs> I guess this could be very nightmarish, <laughs> the Emperor. But to me, this is so strikingly beautiful. And I get more of the sleep paralysis aspect of it. But to me, that is not the reason why I got it. I mean, I'm not unfamiliar with sleep paralysis. But it's not the reason why I got it. I just found these images to be so cool. And these images were actually photographed. Now, some aspects of them, as you will see, were photoshopped, maybe to add a fire in or to add a smoke in. We'll see when we get to those. But most of what you see on the images are actual photography. And don't be scared that it's actually not a real horse. <laughs> it is just a sculpture of a horse. Oh, here we go. Perfect. That's death. Now, I didn't know this. I thought that this flag was also photoshopped, but this flag is for sale on his website. On Nicolas Bruno website, it is for sale. <laughs> the actual flag. So there's only one of it, but I thought that was just really cool. And Temperance was the, you know, the image that he sent. The devil. This tower really caught my eye. We got Judgment in the world. Now he does say in the book where a lot of these images were taken. Um, oh, they're actually, so each photograph was created within the marshlands and shorelines of Long Island, New York. And I love that he says growing up in a Greek Orthodox family. So you get to know him a little bit. I'm not gonna read the whole thing because it's up to you to know and for you to read on your own personal time when and if you do get this deck. It just makes it special for when you get it, you go, oh, I, I get to discover something new. But I do like to show all the cards, even though you're not really discovering anything new, but... <laughs> um, for me, the reason why I like to show all the cards is uh, the Moonchild Tarot. For some reason, I... The Star Child, I didn't love. I never got it because I watched some unboxings and immediately I was like, no, no, no. That's okay. We don't have to vibe with every with everything. But the Moonchild, I was like, it's by the same artist, so mm, I don't know if I love her stuff. But I kept thinking about it and I kept watching other unboxings. This Knight of Wands is so freaking beautiful. I mean, all these images are so interesting and different. So I kept watching a lot of the Moonchild tarot unboxings and I found quite a few that show you the whole thing. And I, I was like, hey, yes, I wanna see that. <laughs> I mean, I personally, so uh, cutting myself off, this is an example of something that's Photoshopped. I mean, the actual bucket and all that was photographed, but I'm sure there was people holding the bucket or something like that. But I mean, how striking is this image? My God. Nicolas Bruno did an absolutely amazing job. I was waiting very, very impatiently <laughs> for the release of this deck. Anyway, long story short is I kept watching Moonchild Terra unboxings and I was like, if I've been watching it for this much, I need to get it. So I ended up getting it, ended up loving it. But I needed to see the whole thing many, many times. <laughs> so obviously this one is another one that is Photoshopped. 
right? The smoke here and the fire here and not everything, but I don't know, just to know that um, they put in the time and the effort and the, and the thought and intention into all these photographs, to me, it makes the deck so much more powerful. That's why also I love like photography decks. I love hand-drawn decks. I mean, computer ones too. I have some that are collage and some that are computerized art. So I'm not, I'm not trashing any kind of art. Absolutely not. I have all of it and I love all of it. I just find that when you take the time to really create and think about all the details, it enhances the messages and the images and the energy that is in the deck. <laughs> Four of Swords is perfect. Just resting. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this deck as much as I did, as much as I do. Because I don't know, it's so beautiful. I love the dark aspect of it. I For some reason, I, I find it so interesting that all the characters are just fully covered. Which also nowadays, uh, I love that so many artists are creating inclusivity and diversity into tarot. We are seeing queer characters. We are seeing um, differently bodily, um, sorry, how do I say that? <laughs> bodily, like um, different abilities, different like body ability, abilities in the tarot, people in wheelchairs. We're seeing people of all colors and races. So I love that. So having most of this deck be all covered, to me, I'm like, oh great, like I, it doesn't matter. It's not about that, right? You can kind of see yourself in these images very, very easily. One that that does inclusivity super well is the Modern Love Tarot by Ethany Dawn. Love, love, love that one. And I have an unboxing of it in my channel if you guys want to check it out. The This Might Hurt Tarot is another one, another favorite of mine that I have. That is super inclusive as well. And like I said, don't worry, these are not real horses. <laughs> They're just a sculpture. And finally, we have our king and our queen of coins with the backs of the Somnia Tarot by Nicolas Bruno. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and review of this tarot deck, of this amazing, incredible artwork. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Have a beautiful day out there. See you guys next time.